Today, I'm going to teach you how to take apart kickboxers. So let's get this straight. This is not for the, kick, the kickboxer in the ring. This is for the uh, kickboxer who has taken some kickboxing lessons. You're in a street fighting situation. Their kicks aren't as disciplined. So in this case, we can use our Wing Chun structures against them. So today we're going to use the uh, Quan Sao, or we say, actually some people call it the, um, the scissor hands, Gan Zhang Sao, right? Like you can see this, see this in, uh, in, in, in beauty, right? So we have this structure here, we've got the Gan Sao over here, okay? So in a situation where a person is going to attack, I recommend, because he is, there's a lot of force being generated here. If I stood here and he kicks, it's very, very, it's very, very deadly, okay? So I recommend taking a step, if he's kicking this way, you're going to take a step this way as well, okay? To, to absorb it, okay? So boom, and before his leg uh, travels downwards back in its path, you kick. You use the, the uh, in MMA, they, 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 they say the oblique kick, or we call it heel kick, which is basically the first kick that we learn Wing Chun, okay? So basically when the kick comes, bang! Go easy on your partners, okay? So essentially, bang. In real life, if you did that, the person will, will drop on the floor. It's just simple physics. You're kicking again, not because when he kicks, the leg's gonna be a little bit outwards like this. So I'm it's actually perfect. Perfect uh, placement of the of the knee, okay? So when I do this, it's perfect, okay? So that's how I'll deal with a mid-level roundhouse kick. And again, this actually works if, uh, if he was doing one of those flicking kicks as well too, okay? Like if he was just, just flicking, yeah, 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 do it again. Right there. So in that case, you won't have time to step up to the side. So in that case, you can just go bang. Or, yeah, go bang. Or if you screwed up, you turn a little bit and did this, same thing, okay? So you have to have a pretty good, uh, good uh, structure and forward energy to be able to stand that, okay? Take a beat to the balls, whatever you like. So kickboxing is a very complicated art. I believe that all Wing Chun people should spar a little bit and use their stuff against kickboxing because I can guarantee you, if you can handle the average kickboxer, you can handle basically anybody on the street because you're able to handle all their dimensions of fighting. And thank you so much, Winston Kid, for having me here. All right, thanks everyone, Adam. Thanks for the lesson. We'll see you in the next video with more lessons. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. We'll see you really soon.